I am soon. I am an elemental from this planet. Oh, welcome. Thank you for coming today. It's a great pleasure to have you on the first occasion here with us. No, I have been with Max before and Jim, but I have not been on one of these talks with many. I must say that the Earth is being harmed a great deal right now, and I feel an urgency to tell you that the war is scarring the face of Mother Earth in a way that is very harmful. And in Japan, the irradiation is very harmful that is going into the ocean and into the people there and into the plant life, and th things are not the same. It will change things if you do not get it under control. And the wars that are happening are not helping Mother Earth to heal. So please send your energies to her, or she is in pain. She is in pain, and your weather is not helping as well. And we feel much distrust at this time. Around these areas that I live in the hundred mile cycle circle that I live, there is much happening that is also unhealthy and our tears fall for Mother Earth. Please pray with us that she is healed or we cannot help her as much as we should be able to as elementals as you call us our hearts are broken in many ways but we are working hard to sustain her and the plants and animals they are very hungry with all this snow it is difficult with the cold and the snow. We feel very strongly that we need some relief. As a group, as Huclo as a group, and our contacts with our uh, highly evolved beings that help us and interact with us, how can we help you as elementals exactly? Pray for the Earth, for Mother Gaia, as you call her. She is our source on this world and our attachment to spirit and source in other dimensions. So just pray for her and send her energy. Those of you that do Reiki and healing, heal Mother Earth. Heal Mother Earth. You have that ability. You have that ability. Can you explain what's happening to the bees and the butterflies? There are the, the species that have taken the bees and the butterflies, not completely, but they needed them for their planet as well to do the similar work that they do on your planet, and we are getting them back. but it has been harmful to us. We did not give them permission to take the bees and the butterflies. And also there are things on earth that harm the trees, the bees and the butterflies. And so they thought it wouldn't even matter to take them because we were misusing the earth as it was and they were finding it hard to survive. But we are making place for them again. The bee population has increased and will increase this year. Thank, thank you. You are welcome. Inna, you have a question? Um, yes, I was actually um, planning on making a gathering uh, with anyone who would love to um, join, anyone from the Yukolo uh, community. Um, and I was going to actually uh, make a, something like a prayer and meditation um, 
gathering. Um, Sean, would that be helpful? Soon, yes. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask that people all over the world in their timelines send energy to Mother Earth at the hours of 7, 3, and 11, eight hours apart, and in every timeline separated by an hour, that would mean every hour energy would be going to Earth. So that would be uh, a.m. or p.m.? All hours of the oh, day, yeah, separated uh -huh. by the timeline. My timeline here would be different than yours. So at 7 o'clock at your timeline in the morning would be different than 7 o'clock on my timeline in the morning. And therefore, it would be a circle moving around that healing would happen every hour on the hour. Uh -huh, I understand. Yes, thank you for the correction. Um, we would call it a time zone, um, just for clarification to the people listening. And it would work because it is every eight hours, and 24 is divided by eight three times. It is a thought from the elementals that we should do this. We have started already. But if you feel that we, you praying any time for the earth, that would be acceptable. But this would give you a guideline. Can you give us a prayer for Mother Earth? A prayer for Mother Earth would be this. I beseech you, Heavenly Fathers and Creator, to come to us now for healing purposes. We pray every day that you would touch Mother Earth and give her the strength to move forward, for she is in pain. We know from many others that this timeline is to exist. But if she is in great pain, it will be difficult for her to fulfill all the things that need to happen. So we ask in the name of the great energies and the great gods all to help the earth to exist in a way that will be more calming and peaceful and not so painful. We ask that you pray for us to be as one around the earth and to unite in all the oceans and all the earth to be a united species of living things instead of divided by different prejudices and different visions and perceptions of good and evil. We ask now that you help us to move forward as well as caregivers to Mother Earth that we might be able to help her more, that we have the strength and durability and perseverance to act upon those things that we want for we love her dearly, and the humanities, and the plants and animals, and all things that exist here. So we give our great blessing to you, so that you would give your blessing in return to us. And we thank you, and wish that you continue in peace and harmony, as the earth was meant to be. May I please say, my name is Kim and I feel your sadness. Um, please feel assured that many humans will join you in your plight to assist Gaia and that we love our planet as you do. Please don't feel so alone. Many of us are here to help. Thank you. I was trying not to feel sad, but once I started to speak, the reality of the, the reality, 
became very strong. Forgive me, I did not wish to bring sorrow upon you, but only the message. It's okay. We understand. Of course we forgive you, and we believe in, in your feelings. And you have brought us a wonderful message that many of us were not aware of. And I, I hope this lifts you all. We love you. And we love you as well. And felt the need to speak. I am sorry if we've disturbed you. But there must be a voice. Because some are not thinking clearly about the state of Gaia. There's no need to apologize. We thank you for the message and we just hope it reaches the right people so we can avoid any more future Fuku Fukushimas and other such disasters that might be coming our way. And Especially that this timeline can and In the places where there are war, scarring mothers, mothers' surface and skin and chemicals that are seeping in, harming her. But especially in the places where radiation is abundant, seeping into the oceans and the land and into the people, plants and animals, killing and destroying that as they move forward. How can we contain this? We do how not does, have the right tools. How, do, how does it affect you? The animals and plants are dying. They are being destroyed by strong radiation. And we understand that radiation lasts for hundreds of thousands, perhaps even millions of years. How can it be cleaned up? How can... Anything but prayer, answer our need. I will go now. Okay. Yes. I will go now. My people are not always happy when I do this, but I felt a need. Thank you. Thank you, Sue, and I wish you quick relief. Thank you. Do you have a message for Caitlin? For who? Caitlin. Do I? Caitlin. We have a member called Caitlin who's very connected uh, to the elementals. She's very aware of who we are. She is very much helpful to us because her animals are very aware of us as well. Caitlin, thank you for your thoughts and prayers. Tell others that we are working and let us talk to you again. We know that you have had many visitors, not only the elementals, but others as well, and your dream state has been very useful to us. Thank you. Do you need to speak to us? Namaste, my friend. Thank you for coming and delivering such a beautiful message for us. I can we'll do our best. Bless you all. Bless you all. Bless you all, Bless and you. I must go. Must Thank go. you for your Everything. work. Must go. Thank you for listening.